Betsy is not just the founder of Central Park, but also the founder of the Green Movement. And there's no question all parks across the country and in New York City have changed dramatically. And I really think it's because of what Betsy started back in 1980 with the Central Park Conservancy. Central Park was a much, much different place back then. Uh, tourists did not come into Central Park. There weren't any benches to sit on. Graffiti covered almost every structure. The lights were broken. There were no lawns. Trees were in horrible condition. And to see what Central Park is today is just, the change is monumental. What's important to understand about Betsy that her legacy, to me, goes so beyond Central Park. And one of the most special parts of my job is I get to meet with parks groups across the country and from around the world. And they're coming here because of the Conservancy. How did we do that? How did we accomplish what we've accomplished? Central Park is the way it is today because of Betsy. Anne is one of the most modest, capable people that I've met. She's done so much for New York. Her floating pool is extraordinary. It's one of the treasures that we have in the city now that can move from one area to the other and make such a difference for people who wouldn't otherwise have that opportunity to go swimming and enjoy the beauty of that pool. Describe her as a charming, lovely person who is very efficient and knows exactly what she thinks should be done, and somehow or other, she very often does it. I like the floating pool because, um, like you, it feels like you're on a real boat and you're out on sea. This is the garden that Lyndon built for us in 2004. And before we did that, this was rubble. Rocks and broken cyclone fences. I called Lyndon and Lyndon said, oh, I've never been to Red Hook. I've always wanted to go to Red Hook and she was here in a matter of days. One of the great things about Lyndon is that although she had a very clear plan of what she wanted to do, she was completely flexible about other ideas that people had. Two years after this garden was installed, there was a migration of monarchs from north to Mexico, and for a week, the whole garden was full of monarch butterflies. Now it's full of nesting mockingbirds, uh, tons of pollinating bees, turtles coming up out of the water, literally. It's made this neighborhood just so much more beautiful, and people really, really love this park. I like Prospect Park because it's like going into like a forest or something, and I like going on a bike ride around the park. The first time I met Tupper was at the park's haunted walk and there was Tupper dressed as, in costume, dressed as a witch, and I introduced her to my family, and it was amazing to me that the president of the organization was so involved with a major event and supported her staff in that way. One of the things that I admire about Tupper is her ability to maintain, create, and foster different partnerships with different organizations that help support the mission of the park. We try to create a lifelong appreciation for nature, and Tupper's vision of the park and the vision of education are combined. I like about Pacific Park is that you can um, walk your dogs in. There's a lot of dogs. My first impression was Wow, that's bad. <laughs> um, she's so down to earth. She's such a kind-hearted person. You can really tell that she genuinely cares. She's very passionate about change. She's very passionate about people, all people, 
not just any particular kind of people, but everybody. This area, Swinger Cove Park, is about four acres. Bette Midler, you know, she saw, came by, saw how bad it was as she was driving along the Harlem River Drive. This was once an illegal dump site. What I love about Swinger Cove Park is that there's so much that's offered in such a small little space. We have these different habitats here, so as you go around, there's something, there's something special about every area, just a small four acres, and just giving a chance to teach, pass this knowledge along to the kids. I like swimming in the cold park because of the plants and the animals and, was, and how, like, a long time ago it was just a dump and then NYRP, which stands for New York Restoration Project, we started it into a green space and then grew a lot of plants and trees.